I think my response in this question was one of the main reasons why they gave me a scholarship. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been so long since I posted and I'm so sorry for that. The reason for that is because I have been moving in to uni so I've been busy like adapting, settling down and stuff like that so I'm so sorry if it's been like I think two weeks since I've posted. As I promised, I am committed to this channel so Whenever I have time, I will definitely post. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Cindy. I'm studying biomedical sciences at the National University of Singapore, and this is my first year. And in terms of uni applications, I applied to UK, Singapore, Hong Kong, and China. So today I'm going to talk about one of my interview experience for one of the universities in Hong Kong, specifically the Chinese University of Hong Kong. For this application in particular, I think because of the interview, it actually led me to receiving a full admission scholarship, and later on, also helping me to obtain the Belt and Road Scholarship for Malaysian students, which I didn't end up accepting. I'll be providing some pretty in-depth reflections so you guys can learn from my experiences and potentially see what you can improve upon what I did. For Belt and Road Scholarship, I'm going to make a separate video about it because um, there is a separate, I would say, like procedure in terms of applying for that and writing the personal statement stuff like that so it's better if I don't like mush it together and then you guys will get like really confused as to like which one's which so in this video we're just going to focus on my interview experience for the Chinese University of Hong Kong I applied to two different majors so one is just like science in general that was my second choice and my first choice was biomedical sciences which is the subject that I want to study I got an interview for both the difference is that the biomedical science interview was an individual interview while the science interview was a group interview Interview. Somehow they both are happening on the same day so it was quite fast paced like I had the biomedical science interview I think in the morning before uh, lunch and then the science interview in the afternoon after lunch so it's almost back to back basically. Yeah I'm going to talk about the biomedical science interview first because that happened first so in terms of that one every time when you go in the first thing they do is they ask you to introduce yourself so I would say in such cases it's better if you prepare a list of points that you want to include in your self-introduction um, because or else you'll be thinking on the spot and it can be quite intimidating especially when the professor is like look at you through zoom oh by the way like both interviews are through zoom there were no in-person interviews at all so firstly they asked me to introduce myself and then secondly i think the second question was like why did you choose to study the subject at chk so why in their university in particular and this one requires also preparation before the exam so if you haven't seen like i have like my hku um interview experience video so i mentioned a similar thing in which you want to research into a program the night before you do the interview like you just need to have some ideas because i noticed that for hong kong like universities in general they often really like to ask you like why did you choose us in particular so in that case you cannot just say why did you choose this subject you need to focus more in terms of like the specialty and the interesting aspects of their, their programs and talk about why it attracts you. I think they really want to see that you have a very genuine like intention of actually studying there. So for this one, I'm lucky in that like I think one or two days before I researched into this aspect, one of the things I mentioned was that there are three concentration areas. So there's like the research part, the business part, and the public health part that you can specialize in in the third year and I talked about that in particular and I also focused on the aspect that the Chinese University of Hong Kong their biomedical science program was really new because it started in 2016 and they just had their first graduating cohort from that program so those are some interesting aspects that are unique to CUHK in general so that's why it's better if you show them that you do recognize that that's what they're good at and then that, that's what it attracts you basically. So I ma mainly mentioned these two and the professor like surprisingly said, I'm really glad you mentioned that. She said often a lot of candidates, they don't know, like they don't recognize like this special like trait of that program. And another aspect of it being new is that it could be very innovative because if it's a very new program, I'm assuming that they will also look at other like programs or other schools in Hong Kong and then try to improve upon that. So that's also a good aspect you can talk about. You definitely have to research into your own program and there must be a reason that attracts you. Like why did you apply to there in the first place? In terms of all of your uni applications, you need to make sure that even your safety safety schools, you want to go there. That's the idea of uni application. And so the third question was they asked me about like 
can you tell me about COVID-19? And in my brain, I was like, so happy because I researched into this aspect the night before. And I think my response in this question was one of the main reasons why they gave me a scholarship. <laughs> because I mentioned a lot about like the current treatments of like p potential treatments of COVID-19 and stuff like that. Because COVID-19 is like constantly evolving and like the research is just like coming in and in and in. So I looked at almost like the most recent research. So it really gives the professor the sense that I'm very like committed to the subject area and I'm actually like up to date with what's going on. So I think that's the one of the main reasons why they gave me a scholarship um, along with my offer like after my interview. Of course, there's an element of luck involved. If you've watched my HKU interview experience video, I did predict the questions correctly. I, th I thought they were going to ask me about COVID-19. that sound? I thought they were going to ask me about COVID-19, but they asked me about stem cells. So in that case, I anticipated the questions wrong. So I, I wasn't as prepared. I was so lucky in that I anticipated the questions right and I would say like don't hesitate to do that. I think for CUHK Biomedical Science, there's only one or two professors. So what I can suggest here is to research into what the professor's specialties are because different professors have different interest areas and they are more likely to talk about what they're passionate about with you. So if you do that research beforehand, like for example, if this professor is uh, interested in neurobiology, do the research beforehand and like maybe identify one or two topics that you find interesting to you. So at least you can like bounce off the conversation and it's not just the professor interrogating you that kind of feel. I think that's the most suitable recommendation I can give to you guys in terms of like preparing for your own interview. So overall, the biomedical science interview was really short. I think it was only 10 minutes. I was so happy in that we had a human-like conversation in which like it wasn't entirely academic and it wasn't like a robot like you know her asking and me answering type of interview we actually had some conversation about me being a Malaysian and me studying in China and she talked about how she often like went to Malaysia to um, attend some of the events there and stuff like that so we had a very nice conversation overall and she's such a nice person and so yeah it really broke my heart that I chose not to go there that's about it for my bio biomedical science interview so next, moving on to the science interview. So the science interview is, as I said, a group interview. And for me, it was in a group of three. So including me, there's two other people. And I think there were two professors that were asking us questions. And that's because in the science, like faculty in general, um, the science is a very general course. So if you take, if you want to study physics, for example, you can like apply to the science faculty. And then like within science, you can like study physics, for example. So it's a more general program and it's more like, I guess, interdisciplinary in general as well. So that's why they have more than one professors and not just one. And so the three of us, I think all of us wanted to do like biology, chemistry related. Okay, so again, first question is like introduce yourself after a self-introduction and we just went one by one and yeah the thing about the group interview is I thought they put us in groups because they want us to discuss about like a particular topic for example but no it was literally the professor asking a question and us answering like one by one so it's almost like an individual interview but like we are put into groups so I was kind of confused at that point because I, I thought there will definitely be like discussions and stuff and we have to bounce off of each other but there, there was none of that like we just answered questions one by one I don't know if just like the energy in my group was just like that or it's supposed to be like that some of the general questions that were involved for example were why do you want to study your subject like again like you should come to an interview with that prepared at least and another question is like what do you find most interesting in your subject like why does the subject you want to study attract you that much and so for this one i think i talked more about like the use of imagination in science to make scientific discovery and how like scientists were able to use their imagination to picture something that is like so molecular that you won't see it and then like use that to explain stuff so i talked about stuff around that lines and another question is like what particular subject area are you interested in within for example biology i talked about neurobiology again because at that point i was very interested in neurobiology because i studied psychology alongside of bio and chem yeah and oh yeah and also the pre professors were sometimes like 
asking like individual people like different questions so for example um the professor asked one of the candidates about something i forgot what it is i'm so sorry um but they didn't ask like me or another like the other candidate from macau so i'm kind of confused in that i'm not sure how it's supposed to work and in this case um unlike the biomedical science interview where there were a lot of like back and forth like talking this interview was just mainly us like students like expressing our ideas so the professors almost only had the role of like asking us questions and they didn't um, participate in the discussion as much so i came out of this interview feeling like super weird because like it was really not what i expect it would be and at the same time i i didn't think i did like exceptionally well compared to biomed interview which i happened to do a lot of research beforehand so th this interview i came out of it feeling like neutral and so after the interview you just sit back and wait until they tell you if you got in so i noticed from my hku like interview like video a lot of people ask me like oh when did you get in um and stuff like that so i'm going to like talk about like the dates for cuhk here so that um you guys don't have to ask me again in the comment section so basically i received the offer from the science faculty first and that was on december 15th so they got back to me like I think in less than a month so that's really quick um but i didn't accept the offer for that one because i was quite confident that i would get the offer from biomedical science as well so i did accept the offer for like studying science there and so for the biomedical science um offer i got my admission offer on january 7th so it was less than two months they got back to me in less than two months and then they told me about my admission scholarship on january 8th so that was one day after i got my offer to study that course and so you guys are wondering about like how much the scholarship is so it basically covers like full tuition and that is i think for my program is 145,000 hong kong dollars per year and it's uh, renewable on a merit basis and I think it's uh, a GPA of 3.0 or above and then so some of the conditions are basically like you're not allowed to like work if you don't complete the course you have to pay the money that was subsidized by a scholarship before so that was essentially all the basic info about my um, scholarship and so if you guys are wondering like the belt and room scholarship which is a better offer because on top of full tuition there's also living um, allowance and like relocation money i'll talk more about that in a separate video because you do need to write a separate personal statement for um, the belt and road scholarship and only certain students are allowed to apply to a belt and road scholarship and malaysia is like one of the countries that are eligible so that's it for my cuhk interview as you can see they're both quite short um unlike the hku interview which was i think both like longer in general so yeah i hope you guys learned something from it and yeah guys we reached like a hundred, like almost 150 subscribers and i'm like uh recording this video and and i want to say thank you so much and so i'll be doing a q a but at this point i don't have a lot of questions yet um probably because i've been inactive for like two weeks so i'll put the link down below or you can just like put it in the comment section and i'll like reply to you so yeah guys please participate like if you really want to like know more about me in general and if you guys want to know about my life in singapore as well and life in nus studying life sciences specializing in biomedical sciences please subscribe as well i don't know why for some reason i cannot find anyone on youtube that studies life sciences at nus so i'm not sure if i'm the first one okay so thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for the bell and rose scholarship video and see you in my next video bye